how to add a payment getaway to your website. Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add your own payment getaway to your website. Now, payment getaways can be really complicated to add, but there are two simple solutions which can help you in adding payment getaways to WooCommerce or any other site. Now, if I go on to WordPress and I go ahead and add my products, I can choose to either create the checkout directly on WordPress, or we can also create that using Stripe. Now, the reason why I like using Stripe is that it allows me to create separate payment getaways for every product, and I don't have to necessarily build checkouts every time. However, the alternative way to do this is to use Stripe plugins that enable Stripe payment getaways on your WordPress site. So I'm going to be showing you guys both methods and let's jump right in. So to directly integrate Stripe payments into WordPress, you're simply going to go into plugins on the bottom left, click on plugins and then click on add new plugin. Once you click on add new plugin, you're going to search for Stripe like so. And once you search for Stripe, you're going to find this plugin called WooCommerce Stripe Payment Getaway. Now, obviously, if you are using WooCommerce and you're going to use this, primarily most people to all people are using WooCommerce on WordPress to sell any type of product or service. So click on install now over here to integrate Stripe payments into WooCommerce. Then click on activate over here. And once you click on activate, your WooCommerce plugin will be activated. Now, once this has been completed, you can go into the settings for this particular plugin to ensure that it is set up correctly. So currently, as you guys can see, now we have a payment section under our WooCommerce settings. Now, once you do that, you will be able to go ahead and then enable Stripe. Once you enable Stripe, you're going to be asked to set Stripe up with WooCommerce. So click on create or connect an account. And then from here, you're going to connect your Stripe account to WooCommerce. It's a really simple step-by-step -step guided process. Click on connect over here. And once you click on connect, you will now be able to proceed with payments into your Stripe account. So whenever someone purchases anything from your site, they will be, you know, paying you through through Stripe on WooCommerce. You can click on finish setup and follow the guided process and verify your Stripe account. Now, this is one way to set up your Stripe payment getaways. Now, when you do this, all products that are under WooCommerce in your store on WordPress will have a buy now button, which will lead to a Stripe checkout. Now, this is one way to do this. However, if you are looking to build a singular checkout that can serve on multiple different websites for the same product, you can do this alternatively by going into Stripe first. Once you go into Stripe, you're going to go ahead and click on add product. So add the same product that you are going to have on WordPress. Let's say this is going to be my marketing course like this. And then I can add my description, learn everything about marketing basics to expand and get more leads like this. After that, we can upload an image to represent our product. So I'll just click on upload over here and I'll just use this image as a product image. Then after that, you're going to choose whether this is a recurring or one-off product or service. So for us, this is a one-off product, but this is another reason why I like setting up my payments like so because it enables me to set up multiple different pricing options as well as setting up recurring billing. But I'm going to set this as a one-off purchase of $22. Then I'll click on add product. Once I click on add product, my new product will be inserted into my product catalog on Stripe. Now I can click on this product over here. And once you click on your product, you will see all its information, features, logs. You can include more info. And from here, you're going to actually create a payment link for your product. So Stripe has many ways you can do that. Currently, this account is in testing mode, but we still, I'm pretty sure you're still going to be able to create a click link checkout. 
So for that, you can go into payments and you can go into payment links. Once you click on payment links, click on new. And once you click on new, you're going to add your product. So I have my marketing course and I will add that over here. Once you do that, you have your payment link. And this is what my checkout page will look like once I use this link. So all I have to do then is hyperlink my Stripe checkout into my WordPress site. Now you also have options to collect addresses, require customers to provide phone numbers, and limit the number of payments that could be made by this link. You can also allow custom fields, promo codes, business customers to provide tax IDs, and save payment details to uh, use in the future. You can also choose to customize this particular button, whether you want it to say pay, book, or donate. Once you are done, you can go into the after payment page to see what it's going to look like. Now, once we have set this up, we're going to click on create link on the top right. Once you click on create link, I'm going to copy this link and add this into WordPress. To do that, all I have to do is create my WordPress product page and customize the buy now button. You also can click on buy button over here and copy the code to create this type of buy button for your product. This type of code enables you to just copy the button and paste the code into your site. So open up your WordPress site and let's click on add pages. Now I can go on ahead and first add my product. So I'll click on all products and I'll click on add new to add my new product over here. And I will create the product page for the marketing course. So over here, I'm just going to name the product marketing course like this, and then I'll add the price, which is 23 and 22. Then I have description images and I'll just click on publish over here. Once I click on publish, I can click on view all products and I can proceed with editing the page. So I will simply click on edit over here. And once I click on edit, I will be able to see info about this product, but I'm just going to open up my WordPress site. And once I open up my WordPress site, I can click on edit page or create a new page. And I want to simply copy this code. And once you copy this code, you can go on ahead and click on this plus icon, click on code over here. And you can drag and drop a code section. So I'm just going to drag and drop this anywhere that I want. And then after that, you're just going to paste in your code onto your WordPress site. And in this way, you can add a payment getaway to WordPress using Stripe in two different ways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with accepting payments. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.